a lot of times when I go out detecting I like to mark targets and then either you know check them against another detector or it's easier to mark them and then film without having to have the camera attached to the detector anyway here's a couple different ones I've made this here these were just some like little rods I got from the Walmart craft section they're they're a little bit thicker these here are just like those bamboo skewers that you make uh, shit kebabs out of they're a lot thinner and they're see they're a lot sharper they go into the ground a lot easier than these other ones even though they're not that much bigger for some reason these don't go on the ground very good especially when it's you know the ground is real hard anyway for the for the flag you can do it two different ways probably a bunch of different ways but I can make one like that with a number on it or just one like this just no numbers just a marker what I did with these I just took some orange uh, duct tape just cut off a piece wrapped it around there and you know stuck it to itself this one I just cut off a couple inch piece and I just took it and wrapped it around itself three or four times and you know it come out pretty good another thing about these is when you when you put these especially these littler ones when you they're long enough they're probably 12 inches long to get above the grass and everything but sometimes you have a hard time seeing them if you get with the sun at your back where so the sun's shining on these you can see them a lot better so a lot of times I'll, you know, I'll just put a bunch of them out then I'll go get the sun to my back so I can see them a lot better and uh, something else I learned too when marking targets especially if you're going to compare with another det detector I used to always pinpoint like say pinpoint right there then I'd stick the marker right there over the target but it took me a little while to figure it out now say if the target pinpoints you know right here then I'll move this back like a foot away from it now when I come over the next detector I don't have to move bend over you know and move that I just know that a foot back is where the targets at so that worked pretty good